Hey everyone, this is a video about control derivatives. This is uh, something which deserves some explanation and maybe some improvement in a future version, but for now let's see how it works. I'm using a standard plane uh, from the sample project file for the purpose of this demonstration. So, uh, what is there to say? Well, control derivatives are associated to stability analysis, so let's define one, and we'll investigate the control derivatives associated to flap deflection. So let's put some gain here, and because the flaps will move in opposite directions, I'll put uh, opposite sign gains here. Okay, and let's run the analysis, but leaving the control parameter to zero, which uh, means we expect the stability point to be here at the intersection of the CM um, equals zero uh, curve on the CM versus alpha plot. Let's check this. Here we go. So, change the corner so that you guys can see it. There you are. The point is here. Um, now if we want to have a look at the control derivatives we can use this uh, menu here, properties, or type uh, ultra shift return which I'll do from now on. And what do we see? Well we have all the data which has been calculated uh, with the stability derivatives and the control derivatives here. Now these value are these values sorry are related to flap deflection. And as we can see, flap deflection has an impact in all directions in translations direction XYZ and roll pitch your directions also. Um, okay. The this is fairly straightforward. Uh, you can run another analysis, this time to investigate the control derivative with, with respect to elevator deflection. So let's assume it's a full chord uh, elevator, which means the whole elevator will deflect. We put a gain of 1 here. doesn't really matter. The value doesn't matter. And once again, we run the analysis and we bring up the operating point. Now, this time we see that the, in the elevator has an influence on X behavior, Z and pitching, but no in influence on the uh, lateral direction, which makes sense. Uh, the problem is that you will need to define one analysis for each uh, control derivative that you require and that's a bit cumbersome but there's no way around it uh, for now. Uh, if you define an analysis with more than one control parameter, let's say both elevator and flap, doesn't make much sense but it doesn't matter, and you run again this analysis, the control derivatives which you get are related to the deflection of both uh, elevator and flaps, um, not uh, to each one individually but to the combination of both which is uh, perhaps uh, not ideal and which deserves to be improved in the future. By the way, all this will only work with uh, V631. There was a bug uh, in previous versions which made uh, this uh, box here to be empty. Okay.